We've released PHP Storm 2020.3. In this video, we'll take a quick look at some of its most exciting features. Notice that as soon as we opened the project, PHP Storm detected the language features used and automatically set the language level to PHP 8.0. With this new widget in the status bar, you can now instantly see the current language level and adjust it without going into preferences. We are now fully set up, so let's go through the most notable PHP 8 features. For better code readability, PHP Storm provides parameter hints for function arguments. In PHP 8, you can use named arguments for this purpose, which are supported on the language level. Inside the list of arguments, press Alt-Enter and select Add Name Identifiers to instantly switch to the new syntax. Notice that PHP Storm has highlighted a parameter that is provided with its default value. With positional arguments, passing such parameters is required, but with named arguments, it is no longer needed so we can safely remove them. Of course, PHP Storm provides code completion for argument names and warns you of any incorrect or mistyped parameter names. Prior to PHP 8, code metadata could only be specified in PHP doc comments, whose format was not validated and was not supported at the language level. With attribute support, metadata can be provided as full-fledged language constructs. To create an attribute, add an attribute marker on top of a regular class. After that, you can mark up your code with the created attribute. Of course, all the usual coding assistance features are available, including highlighting, code completion, finding usages, refactorings, and so on. PHP Storm will also help you make sure the attributes are used correctly. It will indicate whether the specified class can really be an attribute and whether this attribute can be repeated, that is, whether it has the is repeatable flag, or whether this attribute is applied only in the specific targets, such as a class or method. PHP itself does not provide any built in attributes, and you have to implement them yourself. In PHP Storm, Several custom attributes are included out of the box. With the deprecated attribute, you can mark methods, functions, classes, or class constants that have become obsolete and will be removed in future versions of the code. Inside the attribute constructor, you can provide the reason for deprecation and define the replacement pattern. This way, when highlighting a deprecated usage, PHP Storm will indicate the reason for the deprecation and provide a quick fix to deal with it. With array shape, you can specify the possible keys and value types they correspond to. You can extract an array that defines a shape into a constant and then reuse it inside the attributes where it applies. Array shape can be useful when you work with simple data structures or object like arrays where defining a real class feels excessive. The immutable attribute lets you mark objects or properties as immutable which means that they cannot be changed after being initialized or created. By passing one of the predefined constants to the attribute constructor, you can adjust the right scope restriction to the constructor only or simulate private and protected scopes. PHP Storm will then check the usages of objects and properties and highlight where the code attempts to change them. With the pure attribute, you can mark functions that do not produce any side effects as pure. PHP Storm will highlight calls to such functions and suggest removing them if their execution result is not used in the code afterwards. If the function is marked as pure, but still changes something outside of it, that is, it produces a side effect, then PHP Storm will indicate that the attribute is probably misused. With the expected values attribute, you can specify which values a function accepts as parameters and which it can return. You can provide values in numerous ways. Here, we indicate that we expect a constant of the response class, and PHP Storm will now use this information to provide code completion in the function call. By using the noReturn attribute, you can mark functions as terminating the script execution, similar to the PHP built-in exit or die functions. PHP Storm will offer to propagate the attribute down across the hierarchy with a quick fix to get an even more well-defined analysis. Now, back to other PHP 8 features. With constructor property promotion, you can avoid boilerplate code when initializing variables through a constructor. With PHP Storm, you can use a quick fix and a property to switch the new syntax and back again. In addition, 
several new inspections will validate that promoted properties are used correctly. They will detect redeclared properties, properties of the prohibited callable type, variadic properties, properties declared outside of the constructor, and properties declared inside an abstract constructor. PHP 8 introduces a new match expression as an alternative to switch. It has strict type safe comparison, does not require break statements, and can return a value. In PHP Storm, you can position the caret at a highlighted switch statement and use the provided quick fix to convert it to the new syntax. If the condition is never matched, PHP Storm highlights it as redundant and lets you remove it. If there are duplicate conditions, you can quickly navigate between them and remove either the whole arm or the condition that you don't need. Identical bodies in different arms can be merged into one to save space. PHP Storm will check the condition type against the argument type and will warn you if there is a mismatch. For example, unhandled conditions will cause a fatal error, so you can use add default match arm quick fix to deal with them. Since match expressions can only contain one default arm, PHP Storm will detect duplicates too. Match expressions with just a single match arm and a default arm can be safely replaced with a ternary expression. And if there's only the default arm, then the match expression might not be needed at all and can be simplified. In PHP 8, instead of null check conditions, it can now use a chain of calls with a new null safe operator. PHP Storm will check that the operator is used correctly. You can't use the null safe operator in right context or as a reference. In PHP 8, it is possible to catch exceptions without capturing them as variables. To remove a variable in a catch statement, you can use the alt quickfix. quick fix. Throwing exceptions is now allowed in any context where an expression is accepted. For example, in arrow functions, the coalesce operator and the ternary operator. To quickly add a throw expression, type THR and then press tab to expand the live template. In earlier versions of PHP, to get an FQN, you could use class name class, but on objects you had to call get class. In PHP 8, this behavior has been streamlined. You can use the quick fix to replace get class object with object class. PHP Storm will also warn if class is used inappropriately. PHP 8 introduces several handy functions for working with strings, and PHP Storm will assist you with converting your code for better readability. Now, instead of using a generic string position function, you can use the more specific string contains function to check if a string contains a specific substring. PHP Storm will also highlight the substring calls that can be replaced with the new, more self explanatory string starts with and string ends with alternatives in order to determine if a string starts or ends with a specific substring. The eagerly awaited support for Psalm and PHP Stan has arrived. Getting started with these tools in PHP Storm is really simple. Inside the composer JSON file, add the records for Psalm or PHP Stan and update the dependencies. PHP Storm will install the packages and automatically configure the tools inside the IDE. Next to the package records, there's a range icon you can click to start configuring the tool. As you can see, the path to the tool binary has been detected. Now inside the composer JSON, we can use the quick fix to enable the corresponding code inspections. At this point, PHP Stan is already fully operable. For some, you need to additionally provide a configuration file. If you don't have one, PHP Storm will prompt you to create one. That's it. The tools are now running and highlighting the detected issues directly in the code editor. And of course, you can run them in batch mode on your entire project too. This PHP Storm release also brings built-in support for Psalm annotations. You can now specify them as regular PHP doc comments, and PHP Storm will provide code completion both for tags and for the data structures used. Inside your annotations, you can use pseudotypes such as scalar for representing scalar values or numeric, which is a super type of int or float and numeric string. When providing values for constants, you can use unions to indicate that several values are possible.
if the class constants share a common prefix, you can specify them all using a wildcard. Lastly, basic generic support is now available in PHP Storm. For now, we cover the simple case of a function returning one of its parameters, and more cases will be supported later. This release brings support for the new XDebug 3, which, among other updates, has greatly simplified configuration. Now you only need to set XDebug mode to debug to start debugging. XDebug's default port has been changed to 1903. To adjust it, go to Preferences, Languages and Frameworks, PHP, Debug. To ease migration, there's now an option that allows PHP Storm to listen on both the old and the new ports simultaneously. Now let's take a look at several IDE enhancements that have been introduced in this release. PHP Storm has one keyboard shortcut to rule them all. Pressing Shift twice activates Search Everywhere, which you can use to search for anything at all, from classes and methods to settings and refactorings. In earlier versions, search results were grouped by category, such as files or actions. Starting with PHP Storm 2020.3, Search results are organized by relevance to the search query. This provides a more condensed view and lets you find the desired option faster. What's more, we can now do simple math calculations in Search Everywhere. Type your expression, view the calculation result, and press Enter to copy the result to the clipboard. Git data, such as information about branches and commits, is now included in Search Everywhere too. To narrow down your search, you can switch to the dedicated Git tab. In this version, editing files side by side has been made much easier. Now you can simply drag a tab to the desired part of the screen and drop it there. This works in all directions. Move it left or right to split the window vertically, or up and down to split it horizontally. Similarly, you can now select a file in the project view and press Shift Enter to open it in split mode. This also works in Search Everywhere, Find Usages, and Recent Files. We haven't forgotten about plugins either. In this version, you can enable them on a per-project basis. Under Preferences, Plugins, locate a plugin on the Installed tab. Click the gear icon and choose whether this plugin should be available for all projects or just the current one. In this release, you can use file templates to generate several files at a time, such as a Control of View combo. In the Preferences, go to Editor, File and Code Templates, and create a new template. Then click that Create Child Template File button and specify the details for the child file. Just like with regular templates, you can use predefined variables and functions here. Now, when you choose to create a new file based on the template, PHPStorm will create several files at once. PHPStorm 2020.3 brings integration with the popular Guzzle framework. If an HTTP request is detected somewhere in your code, PHP Storm now displays a gutter icon next to it. Click it to create a new scratch file with the correct request parameters and execute it directly from the code editor. What's more, you can now export an HTTP request to a curl string. Press Alt Enter in the HTTP request and select Convert to curl and copy to the clipboard. This release adds support for Code With Me, a tool for remote collaborative development and pair programming. To get started, click the Code With Me button on the toolbar, select Enable Access, and set up the desired access right. Then, in your teammate's ID, use the generated link to connect to the shared session. That's it! You can work on your code together in real time with all the code completion, smart navigation, refactoring, and all the other features from PHP Storm. This sums up the major new features in PHP Storm 2020.3, but there are even more. Learn more on our blog at blog.jetbrains.com/phpstorm, and download the new version from jetbrains.com/phpstorm. Thanks for watching.